Well, how do you do there, guys? Uh, there's uh, the finished product. The finished uh, Dodge L700 tractor truck. And uh, it was a fun build. You know, it actually, um, compared to the last rig that I built, the uh, AMT White Freightliner, that rig was a big fucking pain in the ass to build. Don't get me wrong, it was fun, but it was a pain in the ass. Uh, this model, comparatively, at... Um, it was actually, I find, much better built. Uh, to give you an, an example, when I put together the, the frame, or what's known as, you know, for trucks and buses, as a ladder frame, uh, because it looks like a ladder with all the cross members, um, all the pieces, like, they came together really well. They glued together, together well. They fit well. And the, the frame rails were, you know, nice and straight, whereas friggin' AMTs, uh, they were crooked and <clears throat> what happened because they were crooked I had a major hard time trying to put the fucking front bumper on there and having it stick stay there you know so I gotta tip my hat off to Lindbergh because this is the only this is only the second kit I've ever built from this company and uh, the other one which is my 61 Impala over here or as you guys call them in the States Impala you guys call them Impalas, like you call Montreal, Montreal, you know. It's kind of funny. But the only flaw with that model is that the hood, you see how it's not sitting right? Yeah, it's not. It warped not long after I made that model, you know. But anyway, if you guys saw the first video uh, about this kit, um, yeah, I wanted to make a, um, I wanted to make like a Kingsway truck out of it. Now, Kingsway was a... Uh, a long time uh, operating uh, a trucking company here in Canada and actually they still exist except I think they they were bought out or they merged with a company called Cabano so now it's known as Cabano Kingsway and even that I don't even fucking think they still exist anymore frankly now my only beef I have with this fucking kit is the fact that the uh, the cab like on my Ford uh, cab over truck my C series there is that the cab it doesn't sit well. Uh, it literally doesn't sit. If you look at it, like look at this angle. You see how it's a beautiful model, and <clears throat> like I said, it was it was pretty easy to assemble, but the cab doesn't sit leveled with, let's say, the frame. It's 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 quite annoying actually. I, I hate it. As a matter of fact, look, <clears throat> if I were to try to fix it, and the funny thing is, actually, the funny thing is, I should say also is that compared to let's say the AMT White Freightliner cab over. This one, the hinges to put them onto the the uh, the cab and to connect the cab to the frame was a cakewalk, but the fucking white Freightliner was a big pain in the ass. So if anybody of you guys at AMT you watch, you know, I mean, look, I got a few of your models here, uh, like the Riviera, the, the Wildcat, the Impala, you know, and I built so many of them, but, the, you know, the cars are okay, but the trucks, uh, you know, they would need uh, some work. And, uh, but, you know, other than that, like I said, it's, it's a beautiful model. Uh, another thing I hated, by the way, as, as you can see, the wheels are really nice. There's a couple of things. The rims actually are, are a little too big for the, um, for the tires in more ways than one. And what I mean is that the, the rims are a little bit too big. Like, they're not actual sizes they're supposed to be. And that's why, if you look at my rims, I did, like, paint on the outline of the rims on the, uh, the edges, if you want to call them, I painted black so that they look a little bit, little bit smaller. And also, it's really annoying actually to try to to fit uh, the tires onto all the rims, any of the rims, the back rims, the front ones, the rear ones, any of them. It's a big fucking pain in the ass. Uh, I was thinking about painting those hoses, those air hoses, and I'm like, you know what? I just want to wrap this up. I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to building models like I am with my paintings. I mean, I do the best I can. But it's not going to be perfection, you know. I mean, look, you can see my motor's not sitting straight. Speaking of the motor, actually, let's have a look. Let's have a look here. Yeah, see, it opens well. It doesn't want to stay open. Anyway, you can see it's a... I don't know, I think it's a 440 or a 318. Could have been a 383. I mean, this particular truck, where these trucks were made from... You know, mid '60s until uh, oh, until about '71, I think. 
when uh, the um, when the uh, this whole design was redone because this was actually based on a van, uh, the Dodge A100 van, and uh, then that model was totally mothballed, and they came out with a new van, the Tradesman, back in '72, but they did not continue to make cab overs off of a van design, you know. So it's just it's a nice little uh, nice little truck, and uh, I got the trailer that I have to make, of course. That's uh, you're focusing there. That's going to happen in a while, and uh, you can't really see the interior. I don't think just a little interior job, a little interior details. It's not easy to focus on things. Oh, another thing I had a hard time with it was uh, before I stop here is the um, you see the 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 Kingsway logo, the K, the big K on the door here. See, it's not fantastic, you know. I mean, I, I painted it a few times, but you can see all the streaks. And um, the other side, I think, is actually worse. <laughs> um, I, by the way, I should mention to you here, I made the mistake of, uh, like, painting different colored parts at the same, you know, like, at the same, in, in one shot, you know, so that, you know, if there's, there was so many fumes in here uh, that, that, you know, it, it wasn't even funny. So I wanted to do it all in one shot, but in a way it kind of backfired on me because this cab fell off the, my, uh, painting block in my little paint booth. And that's why there's the red there because there was some red paint that wasn't dry on the ground of the box. And, uh, but actually I find it kind of looks cool. It shows wear or like, it shows like, uh, uh, you know, some sort of like patina, you know, like wear or like primer. Yeah, there she is. Trying to get a nice shot focus there. But again, like I said, the K there, mm, it's not great. So I'll have to do a better job on the uh, on the trailer because the K is much bigger, eh? And just to show you, just before I wrap this up, there's the box right here. There it is. So I'm impressed, Lindbergh. I'm very impressed by your choice of truck to make a kit and the quality of the, tr of the truck itself. And I'm sure that I'll have no, no trouble probably making the trailer for this, uh, the frame or the box itself, comparatively to my fucking uh, um, AMT Freightliner there. Not the Freightliner, but the trailer, the, the chrome tanker. Which actually, I wonder if you could see from here in my room covered in dust. Let's see if you can spot it. Yeah, it's way down over there. I'm too lazy to go over there. No, it's not really. It's just actually even from here you can see all the dust. It's just all dirty. So, you know, it's always something to do. Eh? So anyway, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, anyway, it's it's uh, it's quite rewarding. You know, it's a great time of the year when it's winter like this. You know, it's too cold to go outside, do too much. It's a great time to, you know, to stay inside and, and, and build something, make something, you know, have some fun. So that's it, guys. You all take care now. Bye-bye.